Good evening. Thanks a lot for the introduction. Uh, I work in software testing for 20 years. I think software testing is uh, very important. And today I would like to cover the topic of why you are not QA. So most of the people who are working in software testing are not QA. I believe there is a problem that people do not understand software testing. And one of the reasons for that is uh, because of the presence of the term uh, quality assurance. So I will ask a few questions. Can you please raise your hand if you think that you are a human? I knew it. So we have most of us are not humans. Good to know. Okay. Then uh, what, I will, <laughs> what I'm going to do is uh, I will try to explain where to take information on the subject. So this question is not new. Uh, it is present for, well, many decades and probably all answers were already provided uh, 14 years ago. Uh, then I will try to build an argumentation framework to explain why you are not QA and also talk about the purpose of uh, software testing. So the topic was completely covered in 2010. There is an article called blog post called testers get out of the quality assurance business. Can you please raise your hand if you ever encountered uh, this blog post? Okay. Okay. okay so <laughs> I was thinking that I will not tell anything new today, but maybe. We'll see. So the argumentation framework is based on the following principles. Uh, the first one is that it is possible to argue about the things indefinitely if uh, you are not able to agree on the key terms. For example, it is not possible to discuss what uh, women's rights is if you are not able to agree what is a woman. Uh, so it is the first one. It is important to uh, describe uh, the terms, the glossary. Uh, the next four principles are not just applicable to software testing. They are very applicable to any collaborative human endeavor. The first one is to treat others the way you want to be treated. The second one is to have agency and personal responsibility. Then one. Some people can replace the word hope for another word, so hope for serenity, courage, and wisdom. Serenity to accept things that you are not able to change, courage to have to change things that you can change, and wisdom to distinct between these two. And the last one belongs to a great thinker, Thomas Sowell, uh, and it states that there are no solutions, only trade-offs. So in any area, there is no solution. There, is, there are only trade-offs, and the best we can do is to select appropriate trade-off. So we'll start with the definition, and the word quality assurance, phrase quality assurance, contains what is called Q word. Uh, Q word is uh, difficult because it can have many meanings, in particular the video on the slide contains eight uh, different definitions of uh, what is quality. Quality means different things for different uh, people. Uh, quality is subjective, relational, and relative. So quality is determined by whoever is using the product at the time. 
and also quality changes. So the most, the best definition of what is quality, it is quality is value to some person at some time who matters. So it is definition of quality and it is something that we are going to assure. Then there are things that decrease the value and they are called defects. So in software, if we are talking about the value and the quality of the software, uh, defect is anything that decreases the value of the software to favorite stakeholders or increases the value of the software to disfavorite stakeholders. A defect can be coding error, it can be functional error, it can be design errors, everything. So these are software defects. Now, what is software testing? Software testing is information service. Software testing is exploring software with the intent of finding bugs. Software testing is empirical technical investigation conducted to provide stakeholders with information about the quality of the product or service under the test. So information about quality is information about anything that can decrease the value of the software. So software testing is a clear term. It is specific activity, empirical technical investigation, uh, and people who spend substantial period of their time or substantial part of their work time doing software testing are called software testers. So software testers can do other things apart from software testing. A software tester can be a mother and a wife and a software tester can do many other things. But when they do software testing, they explore software with the intent of finding uh, defects. So now let's look uh, through this argumentation framework into the question, can you assure quality as a software tester? So the value of software, the quality of software depends on processes, platforms, people, and in order to assure quality of the software, you will need to do at least the following things. Uh, you will need to fix problems in the code and in data structure. You will need to design better software requirements because quite a lot of the things that are wrong with the software are often related to poor, incorrect, insufficient requirements. Uh, good people, qualified people produce good software, valuable software. So in order to assure quality of the software, one need to have ability to hire and fire software developers. Then uh, usually software is created not by just individuals, but through collaboration between different individuals and departments. So in order to create quality software, one has to organize collaboration between departments. And also software is not created in the vacuum. You need to define budgets, market schedules, etc. So as a software tester, how many of these five items you are able to do on your project. So in most cases, not all of them, to say the least. So essentially, you could not assure uh, quality as a software tester. The next question is, so even if you could assure, so even if you could, do some of these things, if you can do some of these things. Well, the question is, should you? So it is very challenging and humbling to try to be 
truly excellent in anything. And if you try to do it, you will quickly discover that writing software code, um, hiring and firing people, or trying to negotiate contracts is a very challenging task. So it is possible for a software tester to decide that if there is a problem with the source code, they need to go and modify the source code. Or it is also possible for a software tester to decide if there are problems with requirements, they need to take over the job of uh, creating requirements. And good, all good software testers are proactive. So when they see problems with anything, uh, good software testers have sudden urge to fix it, to change it one way or another. And that's why many software testers believe that it is a good idea to organize processes or rewrite requirements or take over some other responsibility. The problem, there are two problems here. Uh, first problem is that uh, once you start doing it, as I said already, you will immediately discover that it is very difficult to write good requirements or to understand good requirements. And it is not easy to uh, manage other people. Also, if you suddenly discover capacity of doing it, you will find that uh, it is very difficult to do several things at the same uh, time. So software testers definitely can write good software requirements, but when they do it, they are not doing software testing. So there is always a trade-off. You can do one thing, and it means that you will not be able to concentrate on another thing. So that's why software testers could not assure quality and should not uh, assure quality. Uh, because everyone understands it, people are trying to use different phrases like uh, quality assistance. So we are not assuring quality, we are assisting with quality. So quality assistance is a bad term because everyone who is working on the project is involved in quality assistance. So people who write software, they produce quality. So they are also assisting and uh, saying that your quality assistance means that it implies that other people do not assist in quality. So it's also a bad term. Even worse term is quality advocate or evangelist. It means that everyone else on the project uh, <laughs> needs to be evangelized or advocated to produce uh, value for the company, for the project, for uh, their organization, for their team, etc. So why, and we already discussed that it is a good idea not to treat other people differently from how you want to be uh, treated. So it is not a good idea to tell other people that you care about quality, and they do not. They will not consider you to be a friend. And the main thing one by software testing, uh, software testers should not assure quality, is because there are always trade-offs. If, if you are doing something else, you are not doing software testing. And software testing is important. And software testing is difficult. It is difficult to do software testing. And excellence in software testing also 
requires skill and experience. Uh, software testing is providing information and any human endeavor uh, suffers without proper information. So if anyone tries to design military strategy or to without intelligence, or if somebody is trying to treat patients in medicine uh, without accurate diagnostics, or somebody is trying to trade in the stock market uh, without market without access to market data. Nothing good comes from doing something without access to information. And taking into account that everything around us is software, uh, the value of information will be more and more. So software testing is important. If we are focusing on something else, we are not doing software testing. Uh, so this is the reason why software testers can't assure quality and should not assure quality. But should we still use quality assurance as a term in day-to-day -day communication, in uh, job ads, in role description? So is it okay to use term uh, quality assurance? There are many phrases that uh, we use uh, and they mean the different thing, but we are okay with it. So why not uh, put equivalence between quality assurance and software testing? So say piece of cake, uh, everyone understands that it's easier. So, but it is not piece of cake. So it means easier, cutting corners. Everything understands what is cutting corners, but most of the time it does not involve cutting corners. On the other hand, things like kick the bucket, if you will use in technical discussions the terms uh, like our service just kicked the bucket, then you can receive questions, what is the IP address of the bucket or something like that. So by using imprecise language, uh, we can deliver a different meaning. Uh, example would be uh, questions. So there are many questions about QA, test automation, software testing online. And most of them look exactly like this one. Can you eat software testers? So idea is the following. You can eat some objects. Uh, animals are objects. There is discussion that whether it is possible or not, whether it is okay or not okay to eat animals. Uh, humans are probably animals. So it is possible to build logical chains like, uh, is it okay to eat software testers? When in reality, it will be a rather stupid discussion because two other discussions that we should have is whether it is okay to eat animals and whether humans are animals, etc. But uh, mixing everything together uh, prevents us from having reasonable technical conversation. Uh, using part of something to describe uh, using bigger thing to describe smaller thing is also not helpful. For example, definition, uh, kindness is everything. So we are saying kindness is everything. So uh, something is everything. Uh, eating other people is something. So essentially cannibalism is kindness. So, and uh, it's in, Software testing and QA discourse, we have exactly the same type of things when we are trying to use terms quality assurance or software testing uh, interchangeably. So should QA write unit tests? Uh, can you automate requirements for QA? Do you need QA departments in Agile, etc.? So 
due to poorly defined terms, most of these questions does not make any sense. The last one, how do QA testers find bugs? So QA testers, if we will say that it is the same thing, it is the definition of love is love or restaurant trattoria. So QA testers, okay? Uh, but if you feel strongly about quality, you need to focus on the quality of your work as software tester. Software testing is providing information and it is possible to evaluate the quality of information. Information is evaluated on many different dimensions. In particular, it can be uh, evaluated as accuracy. So whether the information that you provide is correct or not correct. Relevance, whether information that you provide is relevant or not. So if you provide information uh, after uh, the service went into the live service, maybe this information is no longer relevant. Interpretability, so whether other people can understand you, and accessibility, whether they can access information that you uh, provide. So focus more on the quality of your own work rather than abstract concept of quality that you can't and should not assure. Software testing is important and software testing has a purpose, purpose of providing information, but not just any type of information like what is the weather today. So uh, software testing provides information about defects. So software testing is finding defects. It is difficult. Uh, it requires special expertise. It requires building tools, uh, processes, and it also can be measured across three other dimensions that are intersected with the previous framework. It is quality, speed, and cost. Quality in what term? Quality is better at detecting and describing defects. So good software testing, quality software testing, is the software testing that is capable of detecting and describing defects. If it is doing anything else, uh, it is not good software testing. And the other two dimensions is speed. Speed has direct link to uh, relevance. And of course, cost. Cost has direct links to uh, affordability and to accessibility of uh, information. So this was uh, more or less overview uh, why software testing is not QA, why software testers should not assure uh, quality, and why it is a good idea to develop yourself as a software tester. Thank you. Thank you very much. much.